Using only household items, I'm going to show you the latest DIY method on how to replace the front glass only on your Samsung phones from Galaxy S21 to Galaxy S10 as well as the Note series. By reaching out to so many people from around the world who have used our patent pending tool and method shown in our last video, we were able to learn so much about what people found to be the pain points of the repair. We have developed new tips and tricks along with new accessories to address each of those pain points and have been beta testing them to know they make the repair a lot more accessible. I am excited to share them all with you for the first time. Let's get started. So the first step is the same as before. You'd want to heat up the display near the top using a hairdryer or a heat gun. We learned that the number one cause for failure was not having enough heat. So we had to come up with a solution. You may have seen those coffee mugs where an image appears when hot liquid is poured into the mug. That same technology is now tweaked and packed into this sticker and applied to this repairer so you can avoid that mistake. You can move it from spot to spot as you do the repair. You may be disappointed sticking it on your partner to find out how hot they really are, but it seems to work really well for this purpose. The ideal temperature range for this repair is between 70 degrees Celsius and 90 degrees Celsius. Then insert the razor blade at the top of the phone where the glass meets the frame and pry it. Slide the Oka blade into the opening. Although I did mention it is very important, the second most commonly made mistake with the repair was the insertion of the tool. Remember to curl the tip of the blade a bit and lean it back as it enters so the tip is just touching the underside of the glass. This diagram here should help you visualize the proper positioning. When done correctly, the tool would appear as though you're seeing it through a clear piece of glass. It should not look as though you're looking at it through a tinted film. The concept behind this is simple. Our ultra thin, super flexible Oka blade is thinner than the adhesive layer used on the phone. It is just a little thicker than thick human hair, but sturdy enough to slice through the adhesive layer. Heat softens the adhesive, allowing the Oka blade to slice through. Now here's something else exciting that we learned. We have found that it's actually less tricky yet faster to use the Oka blade and the wire tool together. The wire tool is something that you see being used often in other videos with the heating pad machine. You may be wondering, wait, does this mean that I need that machine? No, because we also custom made our own gel pad to hold the phone still while this repair is being performed. This gel pad is specifically designed for this process so it won't melt or distort due to heat while offering great holding strength and sticks to any clean surface. It's reusable as well, simply rinse it underwater, dry it and you're good to go. Place the display down on the gel pad, apply heat and using our patent pending Oka blade as a guide, take the wire tool and slice through the adhesive layer. Try not to overheat the display. If you briefly reach 100 degrees Celsius, it's okay, but beyond a few seconds, display damage may occur. An important tip for phones that have a curved display, you want to hold the Oka blade straight and slowly slice the adhesive layer up to the midpoint of the curved edge before inserting the wire tool. Otherwise, the wire can catch an edge and tear the display. Another important trick, divide the areas into three sections for the smoothest glass removal. Not sure why it isn't mentioned in other videos, but I found that the wire tool often gets caught, whether on an edge of a broken glass or edge of the speaker grill cutout, just to name a few. When this happens, simply use the Oka blade to bridge the two sections, and now as long as the wire is pulled under the Oka blade, the wire will be able to clear where it was getting caught before. I do want to stress though that as with most DIY how-tos, whether it be home repair, car repair, or cooking, the process looks easier in the video than it actually is. When you consider the cost of getting this done by a shop being as much as a new display which I think most people can install. Worst case it's not much of a loss but it's still going to be an L to your confidence so please ensure each step is followed carefully. You can indeed still use the Oka blade exclusively as shown here but the new method is definitely easier. When it comes to removing the glue residue the method shown in the previous video still stands. This however can be quite tedious and time consuming. I'm going to save some time here and use an electric glue remover. We offer an inexpensive battery powered version for those that want to save time. In fact if you think you'll be doing this repair more than once, I highly recommend it. You want to remove every trace of the adhesive. When it comes to gluing the new glass, this isn't necessary for devices up to S9 and Note 9 series, but on newer Samsung phones where the camera is within the display area, you would need to remove the back glass and remove the front facing camera. Another accessory we developed is this IP68 tape that's going to help prevent the glue overflowing into the back and the sensor area. Now use the spudger to apply gentle pressure and seal the edges, being careful not to press on the sensitive flex cable that runs across the bottom before dispensing the glue in a dog bone shape. 
For S10 and up, you'd want to dispense two drops of the adhesive on the other side of the camera as well. Once you have done that, lower the glass slowly, one side at a time to avoid any bubbles. Another super useful trick we learned, it can take some time, but we found that letting the glue spread on its own is the best way to go. You'd want to do this on a level surface so it spreads evenly and apply heat to speed up the process. As mentioned in the previous video, our glue is specially formulated to be hypersensitive to UV so that even the little bit of UV present in daylight on an overcast day is sufficient to cure the glue. Once the glue has just filled the display area, you can expose it to daylight to cure it. On a sunny clear day, it will tack up in seconds and cure it under 5 minutes. We have a mini UV light available on our site as well for those who want more flexibility with the timing of the repair. I want to thank you guys for sticking around until the end of this video. For a limited time only, you can use the code YouTubeDIY and receive all 4 of these accessories free of charge with our new kits. One last tip, if you want to practice and get a feel for it, you can easily find broken displays on eBay for around $10-$15. to $15. There you have it. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts, questions, concerns in the comments below. I want to make a video on how to replace the glass on Google Pixel 3 to 6 as well as iPhone X to 13. I find they're a little easier than Samsung phones, but which one should I do next? Let me know in the comments section below and I hope you all have a great rest of the day.